Hi everybody, happy Thursday. It's Ed Langan. Happy Halloween or whatever and or whatever holiday you um, celebrate today. Marge and I wish that for you. Today's Ed Talk is about dealing with disappointment. Marge and I were supposed to go away. We were supposed to have a little time away and that didn't happen and I'm disappointed. That's what we're going to talk about today. Marge is here as per usual. Say hi, Marge. Hi, Marge. Good, I got that right today. Yay. <laughs> Dealing with disappointment. We were supposed to go away, and it didn't line up, and it didn't work out. We are heading into the next seven, eight busiest weeks of our entire year, and we were hoping to have a little break. So the first thing when you're dealing with disappointment is to feel that to allow yourself to be disappointed. Don't stuff your feelings down. Don't pretend like you're not disappointed. Make sure you feel your feelings. And yes, ladies, I know this is a man telling you about feelings. <laughs> I understand that. But feel the feelings of it and understand that it causes an asking within you. So it's not a bad thing because you're asking. And when you ask, you will always receive at some point. It just didn't line up this time. There's a wonderful line from the Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. And it's spoken by Dev Patel. And it's this. If you're not experiencing a happy ending, you are not yet at the end. I love that. If it didn't work out, for some reason, it wasn't in alignment. Now, there's a couple of ways to look at that. Was it not in alignment with what you wanted, so you didn't put the send the signal out clearly enough to get what you want? Or is it not in alignment with everything else that's going on that you also said you want? So for whatever reason it didn't line up, it wasn't in alignment, that doesn't mean that it's not going to be in the future. That doesn't mean that things aren't going to work out. It just, for whatever reason, it didn't line up this particular time. Are you trusting that something better is going to come? Or are you taking it personally that it didn't work out? That's a tough question. The Course in Miracles says, I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. Think about that. You have the power to frame every single experience in your life the way you choose. You're deciding what it means. So yes, I'm disappointed, but I'm not going to let it ruin the rest of the month. I'm not going to let it ruin the rest of the day. I'm not going to just, okay, it didn't line up. It didn't work out. I'm not in denial. I'm feeling the feelings, but I'm also choosing how I'm experiencing it. I am choosing to trust that everything's going to fall into place and everything's going to work out and we'll get a chance to go away some other time and it'll be even better. How are you framing things? How are you choosing for it to be for you? And only you can answer that. You remember our mantras. We have two mantras. The mantras are, everything is always working out for me, and I am right on track. So if this didn't line up, for some reason, it wasn't the best. It wasn't right on track. It wasn't part of my path. It wasn't in alignment with where we are now with what we have to do. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about that, you can always message me and I will be happy to answer them for you. As always, we thank everybody for liking and sharing our Facebook Lives and all of our videos. We really appreciate that and your sending the information out there for people who may be seeking it. So thank you very much. We appreciate that. Tomorrow is November, and we'll have workshops at all the usual places. Starting again next month, we are going to be at the Natural Living Expo next weekend, the uh, 9th and 10th 
I will be speaking on Sunday the 10th at 3.30 in the afternoon in the Princess Room. I will be doing readings the rest of the time while we're there. Hopefully you'll come by and see us. And that is in Marlboro, Mass. Booth 18. Say again? Booth 18. Booth 18. Marge is reminding us, Booth 18. That's where we'll be. Excellent. The other thing that I want to tell you about as far as workshops, we are going to be in all the usual places, but we are going to be in Trinity Healing Sanctuary, November 23rd and 24th. Polly Jo and I are doing an amazing two-day workshop called Magnetizing Your True Potential, Manifesting in a Multi-Dimensional World. It is going to be incredible. I'm going to tell you everything that I know about Law of Attraction, and I'm going to show you through science experiments how it works. You will understand vibration, manifesting, and all of that by coming to this workshop, and Polly Jo is going to do quantum healing to remove any energy blocks that you have about manifesting about the points that I go over. It's going to be a crazy good workshop. Marge and I and Polly Jo are really, really excited about that. Um, you can contact me if you need any information about that. Um, I think that's good. Can you think anything else, Marge? Well, just that it's under events on your Facebook page. Good. And hopefully you all heard Marge say that. Under events on my Facebook page. Excellent. Say goodbye, Marge. Bye, Marge. All right, everybody. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. The guides want you to know that you are worthy. Light and love. Have a great week.